can't exactly estimate it, but off the top of my head, they're probably like double digits, but like probably less than 15. You can't exactly challenge that. Mm -hmm. That's only a shield grab or like a very long out of shield. But when you're Roy, you cannot reach that. You just have to play like an RPS that's slightly in your advantage, but there's just counterplay both sides. Yes, yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be seeing some uh, counters off stage from Nullis if he, go, if he does, go, in fact, go Sephiroth. Uh, probably going for jump reads. Uh, what? Two lads smiling, having a good time. Nullis on his phone, Lyrix kind of eyeing him down. <laughs> Two lads with a smile on their face. That's, that's Lyrex. That's Lyrex. We're he not. a picture of Lyrex on stream. I, that's kind of weird, but. That was HBox. So, uh, do you know it was HBox? I do know it was HBox, but actually, you're you're kind of lying to me the way that that was actually Lyrex. It actually, has the beard, low key though. Has the hat, low no key. headphones. I can see it. I can see it. But if that's yeah. HBox, and like maybe Lyrex is better than HBox. Yeah. The, the famous quote that that image comes from is, "We're not thirsty, bitch." <laughs> I do need the lore. I do need the lore. You want to hear the lore? I do need the lore. So yeah. basically, there's this guy. I think his name's like Fabs or Fabian on Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he was going around harassing people after Genesis Top Eight, and H Box was down. Uh, at eight. He had eight hot dog, eight uh, hot dogs from the hot dog station eight outside. Glizzies. Yeah, but with no drink. And so Fabs was just kind of going around being, "Oh, you having a glizzy with no drink?" <laughs> And yeah, that's no where bev. the famous no bev, no, no bev. bev. Yeah, that's right. All right, Roy Sephiroth. Hopefully, we're gonna see a monster on player phase or the player phase monster pulling at it. Two lads with their swords swinging. Starting Smashville. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Volatile yeah. stage, but really good. Really good for both players. Whoever has center, really, just yeah. really strong. They always got healthcare at center stage. Every single time. Lars is giving that, that, that fair and his F tilt so much respect. That's almost like a third of the screen that he is just giving to him because that froth exists. Oh. Jab backwards air. Doesn't get it. Got the DI out. Running it back. Let's shot situation. Get up attack. Oh no, it's too far, but I'm yeah, gonna find gets exactly the uh, sweet spot jab there. Really good situation though. Covering nice. that roll, really nice. All right, strong, strong position for Lyrix right here in this game. Getting gonna lead this early on. Sephiroth is really, really pivotal in this matchup. Whoever gets the lead at the beginning gets to play their game. And both these characters are super volatile and get to play their own game when they get to use their range. Unfortunately for Sephiroth, he has to make a little bit more reads, and yeah, that's exactly the counter yep, that you were yep, talking about. Yep. Oh, not going for another <gasps> counter, but the stage spike coming out. I don't think Lyrix expected that he'd need a stage spike there, but... Oh, yeah. Alright, reversal situation. Oh, good air dodge from Lyrex, acknowledging that if he presses any hitbox, he's just gonna get countered for it. Alright. Nice parry. Jab, dancing, blade, I don't know the name. Uh, it's Double Edge Dance. Double Edge Dance, I know that's what the canonical name for it is, but I know you just smashed side B a lot. Jab back or yeah. gets there. Yeah. Riley Finally. will probably kill you if he hears you uh, call it Dancing Blade. But yeah, regardless, uh, Lyrex is going to go up. Fair off ledge, not going to get the full combo, getting sent back off. Ledge trap situation for Nullis. But yeah, just covering that jump off of ledge too late. Both of these players are super explosive on the legend. Only oh, get reads, no. but yeah, I guess it doesn't exactly... See ya. Get the reads there, yeah. All right. Yeah, unfortunately showing. for the SD, yeah, Lars just yeah. does take game one. But yeah, looking at those um, ledge shot situations, both of the players only went for like super ultra hard reads. And the one time that it worked, it just gave Lars a stock. Mm -hmm. Didn't exactly take it to the bank, but yeah, taking that SD and taking game one, counter picking the music. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Oh, Princess Peach. Unfortunately, that is not a legal stage. <laughs> Larix fact checking his boy. Unfortunately, despite having 25 million stages on the stage list, Princess Peach's castle is not one of them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're going to call out for lesbians against Yoshi. Everyone in the chat, if you're a fan of hating Yoshi, please send me your emotes. Yo, that is actually like the most base thing that I've ever heard. Hating Yoshi? Facts. We all hate Yoshi. As an Asian against Yoshi, I agree. Simply put, but yeah, back in the match, game two on Battlefield. Here we go, let's try Already. Yeah, explosive start to the match. That's the thing. In this matchup in particular, when Roy gets up in your face, Sephiroth basically can't do anything other than maybe like have to guess where you're going to be with an Eric because that grab, a lot of the times, is just going to whiff due to, the, due to the hurtbox shifting because it doesn't have enough range. Oh, Pyrex oh, not the jump. going for the You have to go back hop. to ledge. Yeah. All right. Oh, he gets a read, but he doesn't commit exactly the way he wants. Oh, no, no counter yeah. coming out. That spot dodge. Opting for defense and yeah. RPS. Yeah, just minus gonna five. Just going to respect that. Yeah. Absolutely. Right there. F tilt. No jump. Oh, absolutely Gunner. good read on the 50 50. Gets there. Oh, no. He opts for the neutral get up read. And yeah, back to neutral. Yeah, I got health care at center stage. Blue cross. Jab. Back back that back here. Really good DI from Nolts. I like that. I think he's preemptively doing the DR, assuming that he's just gonna do jab as opposed to like a tilt. Mm -hmm. Might be something to look for in the adapting for the next stage or maybe the next interaction. All right. Back on the ledge. Oh. Gonna find that orb. All oh. right, beats out uh, the hitbox from Myrex with his uh, Octo Slash. Oh, All right, absolutely. finds the up air. And Noah's gonna take a lead here in this game. I don't know how long it's going to keep it's it gonna for. It's going to be terrifying, yeah. Right. He's been right. struggling on this leg, but yeah, he's been getting out. Oh, nice. Covering the no-tech. Nice punish. Myrix is having a hard time going on uh, Nolis here. Oh, we're definitely going to see maybe an up out of shield. Maybe an F-tilt. All right, yeah, back air out of shield. Yeah, what we're really looking at in neutral is that Myrix kind of understands Nolis' timing on when he like dashes back and when he wants to short hop shield. And so he just full hop and presses like a safe button, like up air or fair. And that's when he just starts his game plan. Right here, challenging the side B. Back to ledge. All right, My great air dodge from Lyrex, reading the timing on Nolis' up air. <gasps> but Unfortunately, you gotta SD and then take that down air right to the head. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, not gonna kill. Oh, I forgot that Roy is the top five character. Yeah, and uh, Sephiroth, <laughs> uh, he's got Jigglypuff weight, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty close, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that might be something. 66, and he's still looking for this advantage shape, but mashing there. Back on the ledge. He's a little bit scared there for Nolis. Nice. Finding the counter. And Saves this jump. Oh, no counter. Yeah. No second counter. That, that counter was like super clutch, but yeah. Flyer saving his jump knowing that Roy's recovery is really, really bad. That's just, just an unfortunate thing. But yeah, back on the ledge. Still an advantage. Finding that uh, yep, grab on the roll. Going to put him right back off again. I think we're going to see... Yeah, jump get up and uh, wave bounce side B. Really good option, but gonna get stuffed out by the up air. And get a little bit more tense. Numbers are looking red. Damn, always for opting that for that read. Game, yeah. The first time he gets it in, yeah. I guess he tried to get the timing on the air dodge a little bit preemptively. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I guess he did it a tiny bit too early. And yeah, Nolik's taking game two. Yes. Super fun set, but yeah, there's not a lot of neutral. They're just like, someone's gonna get their offense started, mostly Roy, mm -hmm. and someone just goes on the ledge. Someone either gets reversal on the hit, and game's really just being played there. Yeah, that's that's one thing that I, that we've been seeing a lot is uh, Lyrux being able to dominate like on stage really really strongly, but as soon as he's on ledge, it's it's kind of tough. Yeah, going to the Bastion. In the series that Lyrex loves a lot. Y'all leaves. Yeah. Back to the lads. Mm -hmm. Into game three. Interesting counter pick. Uh, I like it. I th yeah, I, I definitely think this would be really favored here. 
Yeah. As someone who doesn't understand this matchup, I'm like, oh, well, it has a little bit more space. Sephiroth could probably use a sort of tiny bit more. But yeah, yeah, I kind of understand what you're saying. The blast zone's being small and nice. And it's, it's kind of, it, it's just, it's diet smash build, right? Where it's like, maybe like, it's a little bit less volatile just with the platform being smaller. But yeah, all right. Uh, and he makes up, oh no, doesn't get the pivot grab. And yeah, they're swinging with their sword and the shield. Not really exactly going for what they're looking for. Yeah, Nair. Harry. Harry, there's the, the vortex. Jab vortex. The man behind the vortex. Wow, what a jump anti call out. Really nice anti what a jump from Nullis. Call out, yes. heading there. <laughs> yeah, getting this ledge. This is probably the, set this to the left hand, please. Probably one of the scariest things for this character. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A little short hop. Kind of uh, yeah. Kind of risky, kind of there. Maybe just trying to guess. I mean, I, I think that's a good, a good option, but just the timing was off. Unfortunately, Lyris, yeah. Yeah, Lyris was in a really good position to punish that, as we saw. Yeah, at roll range, if you're not, yeah. like, preemptively pressing, then you can just react to things on ledge that are, like, super ultra committal. Yeah. All right. There's as the counter. Jump. No second oh, no. counter again. I think he had the timing to do f but I think he just wasn't fast enough, which sucks. Back to the nuke. Oh, f wow. All right. Stuffing out that uh, aggressive option. There's the jump. Lyric's getting off from ledge pretty much for free. This is terrifying. Vlad is swinging. Lyric's kind of using his plus frame, but not really benefiting from it. Really, Damn. really spot big dodge spot call. dodge call. Ooh. Yes. That's there. All right. Nose could blow up at any second. Absolutely. But I think side B at yeah. ledge probably kills. And right now, it definitely kills. Jab yeah. backwards there, at least on the ledge. Probably tough. Back on the ledge is terrifying. Back to Nooch, but you're not exactly an advantage. Gets the reaction on the Nair. I mean, the, yeah, one the thing, jab. I keep seeing Lyrex go for full hop, uh, RAR back air, when short hop in a lot of these situations would work, especially since Nolis' DI is really good. But yeah. All right, big combo coming out for Lyrex here. Yeah, for straight hits, definitely kind of just converts more. But every time Lyrex presses the button, even though it's like on shield and maybe it's on hit, it's always going to be some sort of advantage. Because if it's on shield, Rory's plus. And if it's on hit, oh my god. Okay. That's not going to be it. <laughs> no counter again. Man, I really want to see this counter come out from Nolis because I think it would be a really good, uh, really good spot yeah, to do it. Unfortunately, yeah, getting the 50-50 right is just so committal. And if you lose Actually, that... Actually, yeah, you are right about that. You're just going to go on ledge. And again, this situation is terrifying. Nair, almost going to find that up air. Irex barely making oh, it out. Oh, the vortex. Really good jump. Oh, oh my god. god. What a spot dodge, yeah. Back on the ledge again. Oh. Runs it back. And Sephiroth, not exactly getting back for free, but if I'm Sephiroth, I'm feeling a tiny bit more comfortable than I am than I am right here on the ledge. Both players are really... Oh no, oh. big commitment from Nullis, but Lyric's going to miss input there and not find the back here. Yeah, I think at this percent, it's super hard to get exactly what yeah. you want on the DI out. Do you think this is going to kill? <gasps> DI mix-up. You didn't DI it? I assume you always have to DI in there. Yes, yeah, yeah. There's no other way you can DI. There's no mix, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, if he, if he goes for, like, back throw, then you're, like, out. If he goes for forward throw, you, like, prevent yourself from dying. But at that percent, you don't really need to worry about it. The only thing that you essentially need to worry about is up throw. And unfortunately, yeah. All Most right. just di incorrectly. Yeah. It's really tough because it's really unforgiving in that situation because Sephiroth is so light. It's, yeah. All right, uh, Lyric's going up 2 1. We're going to see yeah. Nolis' counter pick here. Use a counter pick. A little Xenoblade action. Yeah, I'll pull to our path. Very, uh, very solid base. Yes. I'm a fan. Something up there. Yeah, with this with this win, even if Lyric loses, I'm at least going to be confident on the band back. Right yeah. here, right now, I'm worried about winning. I just want to win this game now. Mm -hmm. so I can just get into grands, get my money, get out of here, get my A1. Boom. Yeah. Welcome to game four. 
down throw Nair, not gonna convert anything else off of it, but gonna find that fair Nair, fair. All right, ledge trap situation. Oh, gets there. Jumping in on him. Oh no, does it get the run off fair? Yeah, Sephiroth's turn. He's going, he's gaming. These two characters get one hit. And if you're on the ledge, you have like a one-third chance of exploding. And I'm glad that these two, play two players are just getting it right. Mm. I like that down tone in that situation. Because you're going to be able to reach out a little bit farther than I think Jab would mm -hmm. down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. Nair not finding this up air. Lyrex just kind of downloaded the timing that Nullis wants to swing that up air on. Uh, I'm not. I want to see Nullis try to swing maybe a little bit later, a little bit more reactionary. Yeah. Right here, it's, this is terrifying because all we can do is move, and your Sephiroth, your moves are so goddamn slow. You're chilling on the ledge. Yeah, Roy really. Oh no, really unfortunate. That's the first time he's di there. That's so unfortunate. Right here with the parry, unfortunate, but yeah. Up the into the nair that low key looked like it was true i don't think it was though yeah i'm not too sure oh no yeah i guess he just wanted to call out high but yeah none of these reads have been going exactly the way they want to off stage but yeah nice no over the jump from empty. ledge yep i don't know if that was like an f tilt covering jump from ledge or if that just straight up hit him down there but all right oh, three orbs on lyrex here no. Not going to get the uppy. Oh, but Lyrex goes high there. To this is it just up. unfortunate. Nolson has not gotten anything. And if I'm Lyrex, I'm so mentally in the game. I'm so glad that every single read I've gotten offstage as a character with a pretty mid-recovery, pretty even bad, I might say. Getting there every single time almost. Choosing grab an RPS. Nolson's yep. not exactly choosing the jump. Well, I mean... Jumping against Roy after he fares her shield is just so risky. Well, I'm not gonna get the last get hit there. there because it's too far. So Nullis back to center stage with the Lyrex. He's in him. <gasps> oh my god. Nice. The only time oh, he got that mix finds up, that up here. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm surprised that Nullis has this lead. But looking at that, it's so. The crap. It's so short. All right, going to find that pivot Sliding cancel left tilt. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Uh-oh, big damage. Perfect timing on the fair. Lyrex. One of the best bald men in this bracket. Looking for this ledge trap. I think he's the only bald man in the bracket, but that's Sometimes besides the point. One of one is still number one. All right, fair. Ah, uh, bad spot for Nolas here. God, this ledge. God, I hate this ledge. Back again on the ledge, 136. F-Tilt's gonna kill. Saibi's gonna kill. Maybe up till that point blank. Yeah, Damn. absolutely. Mark's taking it over Nolas. Putting himself in Grant and Nolas into losers. Really good showing from Lyrex there. Hey, you know that the mod skin's on there. Oh, for real? Yeah. What skin is over? I don't know. It's like it's Clem asking if Simon is bald. He's actually not bald, fun fact. He is balding. He's in the process of being bald like me. Um, But yeah, unfortunately, Rags is taken, and Rags is not taking his hairline back to the front. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew he was gonna DI that up throw right, because I never up throw that really. You know, he was DIing for forward throw. Uh, when does, yeah, when yeah, does nice. the up throw like actually kill like, like a DI? Uh, Seth 160. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 150 okay. with rage. I I knew that wouldn't kill if he DI'd right. Mm. 